Okay. Uh, it, it helps Randy out. Okay, I can share now. Um, <clears throat> let me see. Um, now I've got to find it. Show all windows. Chuck, are you in countdown mode? Um, yes. <laughs> and, and I'll talk a little bit about this when we get into the freestyling piece. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> 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 okay, everybody see all that? Yeah. No, I, don't, I don't need to reduce the ribbon or anything because it's pretty short, uh, simple month. Uh, <clears throat> We only had three uh, dues payments uh, during the month, and those that's the only money affecting the operating fund. Uh, and uh, we had uh, some uh, rotary fund uh, uh, contributions along with the dues. Uh, some happy dollars were paid, uh, and we sent our yearly contribution to Shore Soccer for five hundred dollars. Our yearly contribution to the historical society for two hundred dollars and i finished up what we had decided to to uh, uh give to uh the food bank year uh which was another 750 dollars so uh that's it and uh so a question what, paul oh, oh you're you're gonna you're gonna go to contributions or hmm, you just did them well that's yeah i have a question how much did we end up giving to the uh, international children? Well, we haven't given anything yet. Oh, um, we haven't done yet. Okay. Right. We said we were going to get to do $500 and then another 500 to uh, another uh, 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 district, uh, you know, or, or a, a project sponsored by a different, another club that we would contribute to. Uh, but it, that, I guess that's in doubt, right? Regina, where do we stand on that uh, well project? I've, I've contacted her. She hasn't gotten back with me. With me, I she's going to give us a presentation on June first. Oh, okay. All right. June, so we so still we have time get, as long as long as we yeah. do it by June thirtieth, right? Exactly. Exactly. So I mean, if we don't contribute any money to anything else, we'll do a thousand dollars to the children's uh, fund. Well, that's yeah, she's working on the on the approval of the uh, application for the grant. So, so hopefully, she got more money. Yet to me still have, yeah, is there still a shortage on the funds? I had no idea. She she needs to let me know. She needs to let me know whether I can help her in any way. Yeah, now will you give her a call? And uh, number so all we I have is email. Uh, so we well, or you know send her an email um, because. Yeah, I did that. If you would follow up so we, we can plan better, just tell her, you know, we, we tell her that either, either she commits or she doesn't, uh, and we'll go spend our money somewhere else. What is the, the drop dead date that I need to give you guys? Oh, the, I'd say. Well, the fiscal year ends June. at June, end of June. Oh my gosh. So, yeah, I don't think this, you know, like this project's probably not going to to get off the ground probably until after that. Is that okay? No, but but for her approval, she has to have all her money lined up. Well, but we need to be able to donate the money this year. Otherwise, it can just go over to next year and it can be part of next year's contribution. Why is she so silent on that? Okay. I'll right. try to find out more information for you. Okay. Thanks a lot. So, uh, the, so the bottom line is that uh, we have eight thousand dollars still in the operating fund, which is a uh, you know a very nice amount. We could have a nice party, uh, <laughs> and, uh, so, and we have five thousand eight hundred eighty-four in the contribution fund, uh, which is about as low as that's been for quite a long time. Uh, but that's all right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna replenish it with our uh, uh, raffle, right? Right. And, and uh, so two checks hadn't cleared yet. We we still the check. We sent to the fire company as our contribution back in uh, February, still hasn't cleared. Um, and our check to Shore Soccer in mid-March hadn't cleared as of uh, March 31st anyway. So 
uh, this is our total funds and our funds in the bank are a little higher because those checks hadn't cleared. And I always keep track of our members here. Uh, All right. 39. Let's get this call. Hi, Robert. So, any uh, question? Paul, yeah, yeah, does it bother you that the uh, fire department hasn't cleared the check, cashed the check? Mm, no, these things sometimes, you know, sit on people's okay. counters for a while. I, I'm not, I don't get worried about it for, until a couple of months have elapsed. Uh, Keep close. All right. Well, uh, sliding up a little bit, we are, and we have, a, a, I guess, an administrative item here. Um, Laura is, you know, out. Are we done with this? I hadn't been approved. Yeah, but well, hold on. You got this membership right. thing. Okay, we can, okay. Motion to approve uh, Paul's uh, financial report. I move. Uh, who was that? Randy. Randy. Second? I'll second. Okay, Chuck second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye, 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 aye. Okay, so the financial report uh, passed. On uh, that, the- that's, uh, one thing, that's one thing that we can we can use that money for, Paul. I mean, that 8,000, we could easily spend it at a party at Hook and Harvey's. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> absolutely. They could run through that fast. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely in the spirit of rotary. <laughs> I like your thinking. I can't wait to your president. Okay, now Paul, you're you're our uh, you uh, for the rotary, the whole whole district. You're what what do you call the person who, who uh knows the rules? Palm uh I'm I'm sorry. Pa the rule what, sticker. Rule sticker, yeah. You okay. Paul, you're the rule sticker. What do we have to do to officially get um, Laura off the books? Okay. Um, well, uh, we devote, uh, really, uh, as far as I'm concerned, I mean, it doesn't have much stick the stickler you want to be. I'm a, I'm a moderate stickler, not. <laughs> Since <laughs> where? <laughs> you are not a moderate stickler. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, I, uh, if, if the board just if the board votes to uh, uh, take her off the membership rolls, that's it. I, I just don't. My only point in the email was I don't think the president can do it single handed. Right. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. You're not. You know, I overstepped. <laughs> I overstepped, and I've, I've stepped back. And I'd like a motion that we um, take Laura Dobson off the books. So moved. And second. Second. Randy, second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Does she want Aye. To be off? Huh? Have you guys talked with her? Does she want to be off? Well, uh, I've tried. I, I've tried. Yeah. I did talk with her actually several months ago. And she says, oh, she just hadn't had time. She was, she's planning to come back. But she hadn't paid her dues in a year. Okay. And she's had multiple... Uh, multiple, you know, bills uh, saying that this is overdue and, you know, this is the overdue That's amount. And now and she keeps ignoring them. So um, she meets the criteria that's in our constitution um, for um, not for, for being taken off the rolls because of non-payment of dues. In fact, could have been done many months ago. Um, and uh, we've always been pretty lax with that. And I think Randy asked in an email whether we need to really enforce the, whether we really want to enforce, not that he was implying that we should. And, you know, we, we, we rarely do this and it's just a case by case basis. Um, and um, well, I'm just curious because I'm new. What happens if you transfer? If, say you move out of the area, but you, you want to go to another rotary. Right. Then, 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 then our club can transfer a membership to another club. How does that? How do you do that? Oh, it's easily done through the uh, through RI. All right. Through what? Rotary International. Oh, okay. It's, it's an admin administrative um, transaction. It's a simple thing you can do on the computer. The issue here is um, the grounds for terminating her, which has to Lack be of payment officially put in. And, and 
non-payment of dues. I'm assuming it's gonna be non-payment of dues. Yeah, I put, make that part of my motion. Okay. Just to note, last week I did remove her name from the distribution list of uh, the newsletter. That's fine. Okay. Um, so if she wants to come back later on, can she still do that? Oh yeah, or, you know. Is she not blackballed or anything? Yeah. No, 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 no. We wow. we we still love her. It turns I both to pay up her dues though. <laughs> but but uh, let me tell you, Regina. I, I worked for about six months as well as Bill Stram and trying to reach her. I called her, I don't know how many times. I tried to reach her through uh, Eva. I tried to reach her through a, another buddy she has, uh, Elizabeth Russell. And it, she's just but very you haven't good. talked with her yet, right? No, she, yeah, she, he, she he doesn't does, return calls. You actually talked to her at the YMCA dedication face to face. So did I. Yeah, and I, you know, I saw her in Food Line, and I said, "You still with us?" She says, "Oh yeah, oh yeah," but you know, nothing. But you know, she's welcome to come back if she ever. But did you tell her that you're going to terminate her? What? Uh, did we tell did her that? Tell, they tell her that you're going to terminate her. Uh, no, because I haven't talked to her. I, I, I don't think you can do that then. I think you got to, you got to officially tell her that she's. No, no, we don't have to officially. No, no tell her. really. Um, but in I, the think, I think we should send her a letter I telling so. her that we've taken her off the rolls. Because okay, we can do that. Well, you know, I can leave her a message. I can we'll send her an email. We can, we've tried repeatedly to contact her and we've had no dues payments in a year. And, you know, uh, we, we reluctantly have taken you off the rolls. I'll send her, I'll send her that. Do it fairly. Mm -hmm. I think we were very fair. I, you know, I, I spent half my life trying to reach her, Regina. <laughs> and, um, you know, she's very busy. Yeah, and I appreciate that. And our uh, dues, dues uh, bills and for a year. I understand that. I think you, you still need to tell her in writing or something. Send her an email, tell her you will be terminated. Well, she is terminated. I'm going to tell her she is terminated. Yeah, we'll tell her she has been terminated. Yeah. I, uh, I think, uh, Regina, there's a, there's a common courtesy that you return your phone calls or you return your emails after about the fifth okay. one. Um, so, yeah, I'm surprised. She didn't seem like that type of person. She no, like uh, no, you're right. And, um, and her, Something else is going on or something. Well, she's she was working on a real estate license and- That's no just, excuse though. That's, I, I know, I know, but she, <laughs> what can I do? Okay, I just want to make sure you guys are being fair. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I, I think we have. We're being fair. And, and Bill Stram, who brought her in, also tried to reach her. He gave up before I gave up. Yes, I tried to reach you a couple of times as well as as a buddy, uh, buddy call. Yeah. Never yeah, well, that's you know how good that works sometimes. As a uh, as a result of, of all this and and Paul's uh, reminding us what the Constitution says, uh, it's pretty draconian in the Constitution. Uh, it's thirty days after notification that you're overdue. Okay. That, that you can't be terminated. Uh, I'm going to add a statement at the end of the dues invoices that I'll probably get out before the end of this week that says payment due upon receipt because there is no other way of other than right. dating the invoices and I don't want to do that because uh, Are you setting precedent now with her? Is this the first one you've terminated? No. Okay. Well, there needs to be a set procedure, and so everybody and, knows and, uh, what what is precedence here is we ne we have never spent so much time uh, <laughs> talking about it. Um, <laughs> generally, somebody kind of just quits, and we accept that, and uh, we take them off the rolls. Well, maybe that's why she's not. You know, if you're like a days ago about it, and she knows you are, she's not going to do. You know, well, uh, but no, 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 uh, Regina. I think it's common courtesy to return phone calls 
uh, and emails. And we haven't been lackadaisical about it. We've yeah, made extraordinary, I think we've made an extraordinary effort to reach her. Yes, I think there's been many attempts. Because we'd love to have her. I think I, I think when I was uh, getting collecting the dues when Randy was uh, uh, out sick uh, for at least a quarter, uh, the uh, I sent her a, a specific uh, an email, sort of independent of the bill, saying I see you haven't paid dues in such and such a time. Uh, you know, please uh, get a please please answer this email and tell me what your intentions are or something like that. That was months ago. But she has the opportunity to come back later on if her circumstances. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. We'll have to decide um, at the time whether she uh, <laughs> has, you know, we'd have to make some sort of deal about her outstanding debt to the club. Ah, uh, come on, Paul. Oh, we would. I mean, she, if, if another, if she moved and another club asked us, did she leave our club on good terms, we'd have to say no. Oh, Paul has a, go on a bill. It's in, it'll be in, oh, it'll be come in, uh, on. Yes. Oh, okay, let's, we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll jump off that bridge when we get to it. <laughs> Are you either going to put some meat into this or not? You know, be straightforward. Uh, yeah, I don't think we should be hard-nosed about anything. Not hard-nosed, just be procedural. Yeah, we are, and that's why we have Paul. He keeps us straight. <laughs> you know, I'd give away the store. Um, that, that's not my opinion. I was saying that's the rot that's rotary rule. So what happens to her debt after she after you notify her that she's terminated because of non-payment of of the debt? That's that's how you're terminated. Yeah, we have to write it off. We're, okay. we're not going to collect it. And uh, I think we would negotiate her coming back on. Yeah, it's time, time to move on. Yeah, there you go. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have one other item be before we talk golf cart and free, free form. Um, this liability insurance. Uh, can you bring us up to speed, what, uh, Randy, on what that's all about? Can I bring us up to speed? No. Okay. I don't know what it's all about. We've paid it, apparently, Paul, from year to year. Well, we don't have to pay it separately. It's part of our dues. It comes yeah. out of the dues yeah. uh, that the club pays to uh, Rotary International. And the Rotary International covers all the clubs um, uh, with this sort of basic liability policy. So what's uh, the issue? Voice in it. <clears throat> the only oh, issue okay. I got from the email is they're notifying us that we're going to be billed again for, you know, the current upcoming expense. Uh, well, I thought it was that, well, we're going to have to change companies and uh, we're, you know, we're trying to find the best company. And, and of course, what, you know, if the rate that they have to pay goes up, then our Rotary International dues will go up. Right. Do we have an action item? I'm not looking for work. I just thought it was something we should. I didn't take anything out of what I read that indicated we had an action. We had to take any action. I felt it was a notification of what was going on. Okay, then we won't worry about it. So, Randy, let's talk. Golf cart raffle. Okay. You you um, send us a two page update. That was well. Basically, you you went through that last week. I was on the phone, but I really wasn't participating. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, nothing has changed since then other than uh, hopefully at this moment all the tickets have been distributed to all the members. Uh, anyone that hasn't received their tickets you haven't well, received their were they, <clears throat> were they were they delivered to the to the houses because They're I'm not be delivered right. to the house. Uh, okay I'm I'm not in town so okay I haven't gotten it. That, you know you know who would have mine because I can contact them. Um, 
let me go, let me go through what I'm going to go through, and then I'll, I'll find there are three different people donated. In, in your case, it's either uh, I think it's Mike. Okay. And if it's if it's not Mike, it's Al Paschal. Okay. One of, one of those two, and uh, Stan is the third person distributing him, but uh, he's not dealing with anyone that's in Cape Charles. So. Uh, I think last week, I'm not sure, Bill, you mentioned that Mike has gotten approval from both the AOA, uh, Sunset Beach, and Cherry Stone uh, for us to uh, visit, uh, dates yet to be determined, uh, to uh, set up shop and promote our golf cart ticket sales. Uh, ideally, we'd like to get into uh, Cherry Stone Memorial Day weekend. He said it's an absolute zoo, uh, which would be good for us, but we, we don't know the date. Uh, food line's a different story. The local management at Food Line uh, is not in a position to give approval. I'm trying to fill out an application to corporate, and uh, <laughs> they don't Forget make that. it easy. Uh, what I what I need to make sure of before I send this off, first of all, is we want to do it, but we are we are tax exempt. Rotary International is tax exempt, and I guess we're covered by that exemption. No. Nope. Are we a 501c3 or a four? No, we're not neither. We're neither now. We never were. No, Rotary International. No, the club, the local club. No, I understand, but aren't we covered by Rotary International's tax exemption? No. Paul, you're on uh, mute. Go on mute. I, I was talking to Ginger, that's why I put myself on mute. Paul, we're not, we're not covered by the International 501c3, are we? Okay. No, that that being the case, I doubt that we will get uh, any authorization to uh, do our dog and pony show in front of Food Line. Why'd you ask, Randy? Because I don't want to be asked to leave in the middle of it. I've been asked to leave a thousand times. Well, you, you, that, you, that's you. That's not me. I I would I would I would take care of you, Randy. Why don't we just do this? We'll move we'll move down to the liquor store. Well, that's what other people have done. And so I suspect that I ought to walk in the liquor store and ask the same, you know, for the same approval. No, 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 don't ask. You, don't ask. They don't care. Um, and what you can do is we can set up just, just uh, south of food line and you get the, you get the Chinese. I, I, I know the physical layout. Okay, so you will do okay. All right, if, if, if everyone's, if people are willing to show up and we'll get it started, if we run into difficulty, fine. But I, yeah, I'm willing. I don't like the idea of not having uh, you know, agreement of the people who that we're camping in front of. I'll do it. <coughs> so, well, Randy, I'll in the past, the that, Randy, in the past, at a couple of events or a couple of things that we needed to be a, a c3 or c4 we never we did of course we didn't have a number that we could provide but we sort of rode on rotary international's uh charitable setup uh, and i think it was more like getting forgiven versus getting permission so we just said uh yeah we're a c3 wink wink but if they want a number uh I've, I've even, I think on a liquor license app one time, I put Rotary International's 501c3 and I never heard anything about it. I mean, a, a, a liquor license for something Rotary was doing, not for me. Yeah. But uh, I think we'd be okay if you just wanted to kind of, for lack of a, of a strict legal definition, say, yeah, we're part of Rotary International, which is a 501c3. Um, I think we'd be okay, but I, I mean, you know, if you're going to have your name on it, of course, it's how you feel. Well, they've got an exemption number. I've got the exemption number, but it, it also says that it's a C4, which I don't a C4. Know okay, I, I'm I not know real up on the difference in those two. I don't know what the difference is, but Food Line wants it to be a C3. Yeah. Okay. Um, 
we're we're gonna do okay even if we don't do food line. So let's let's um, okay. move on from that. Uh, again, on the uh, we're doing our thing on this Saturday, the yard sale. Bill, you'll have the golf cart there at ten o'clock. Absolutely. Okay. Will we, we have? have uh, a, will we have the banner and all that there? I have to give Andy a call. I tried to find out from uh, Jim Rich and he's ordered it, he's paid for it, whether it's complete or not, I don't know. But that's on my list this week. So you don't have and any will, signage we will, yet? We will have a banner that's uh, that says rotary with the rotary emblem on it because I've cut up the, uh, cut up and regrommeted the banner from the uh, crab cake sales. So we'll have that in it with the table and some folding chairs. We'll have the golf cart. Uh, we ought to get a, unless someone has, I have a little honk horn. That yeah, I do. On the golf cart to attract attention to it when we. Yeah, yeah. I've got that. Okay, put that on there and, and we're oh, good. Oh, you mean uh, not a honk horn? Yeah. I've got no, a, I've no, got no, an air no, horn. No, 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 not, that's too obnoxious. Just yeah, a, I, I thought yeah, so. Too. All right. I have a question, Randy. Yes, ma'am. Randy, are you going to have a, a lockbox or something to put the money in, or if it, people give us cash and checks? We're going to we're going to have a uh, a used uh, tackle box. I've, I've got a I've got a lockbox. Okay. Okay. We'll have a lockbox. I've got a cash box. Um, to throw the money in. That's not not a big deal. No, we should be. We'll be okay though. Um, and you're, you're, you're going to be there with the tickets as well. I will be 10. there with the tickets. I don't know how many to bring, but I'll be optimistic and bring up at least a hundred. Yeah, I would. That would be great. Uh, do we have a particular ask for more tickets? Do we have a location? Yeah, Strawberry Plaza. Uh, uh, now, did we submit an application for that or? Yes. Okay. And I've got a confirmation for it. Super. So I won't be, I'm not as concerned about being evicted from that as I am about being thrown out of a food line. But hey, well, what uh, is we're, it? We're, we're hey, good Randy, don't, don't worry. Nobody will kick the rotary around. We're too nice. I haven't gotten anything back from your application for 4th of July. Um. I have a copy of what you sent in, but I haven't received anything. I don't like think maybe you I have. don't think we'll get anything until right up till the end. But I'll check with Jen, Jen Lewis. Okay. Um, and, uh, on the on the first of May, we will then we, I'll be putting signs up in the three locations that have agreed to sell tickets for us. Drop off tickets there. I'm going to have the little eight and a half by 11 printed up that we can scotch tape into the windows of any businesses in town that will let us do it. And that announces the, uh, the raffle and tells people they can go to either of those three locations to buy tickets. So everything seems to be in motion. Uh, I don't know of any uh, roadblocks right now. We're in pretty good shape. Randy, I, I, I plan to be there at 930. So we get the best spot right in the front. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh, I wish Stram was here. He may not know either. But I don't think there's going to be multiple people in that location. I mean, this is a yard. This is a citywide yard sale. Yeah. And I'm assuming that the people that are participating are setting up things in their, in their yards. I would hope that there are more than one, more than just us at that yeah. one location, because that kind of makes it look like, you know, something's really happening. Yeah. So we want traffic. If not, we'll have to make it look like something is happening, whether, whether it is or not to just to attract people. So that's where we are. Well, um, are there any questions for Randy? I, Randy, first of all, Thanks so much. You've done a superb There's one job. more thing I want to I want to cover here with, with with the board and with Paul in particular. Uh, what I've arranged with the three folks who are distributing tickets 
is to pick up the proceeds at the end of May, the same way they just distributed the tickets. So they will get back the proceeds, the stubs, and any sun, unsold tickets by the end of May, which lets us still scramble. We still have the month of June to do more. But I would rec record all of that. And Paul, I'd like to be able to get together with you when that all comes back and we'll do the accounting uh, together. Uh, Are you sure we ought to be holding everybody's checks for like a month and a half? Well, it'll be, it'll be till the end of May. If, if it causes folks a problem, um, you know, I guess we have to do something about it, but I didn't want it to just trickle in. Well, we, we've, but, we've always handled the uh, crab cakes proceeds with multiple deposits. And I yeah. just, I just have a big spreadsheet and yeah, keep well, track I, of it. It's not that big a deal. Like how, just, how did we do the raffle last cycle? Uh, deposited as it came in. Yeah, but folks, folks were showing up at meetings and, and turn, turning in their cash. I put a spreadsheet, I did it yesterday, I think, uh, in Dropbox, Paul, you can look at it. It's under fun, I think it's under fundraisers, which yeah. is just a spreadsheet that I've built to keep track of who has what tickets, what tickets come back, the value of the sales and so forth. Um, I just don't know, I don't know how the, uh, I don't care. I mean, really, if people want to drop payments off somewhere, uh, that's fine. They're going to wind up probably dropping it off on you because most of the payments are going to come out of Cape Charles. I well, if people, if people drop me off, uh, you know, some money, what I prefer is that they count it and, and then I, they give it to me and then I count it and we yeah. be sure it matches and, uh, and then I'll deposit it. What if the, um, what if the are, are insufficient funds? How, how do you deal with that? And they've already got their, well, I don't, I think it may have happened once. That may have happened one time in the past just asking. eight years or whatever that I've been treasurer. Uh, so it's a rare thing. And, and if it happens, the seller has to go back and collect. Okay. Well, I, the whole issue here is trying to get this done in the face of COVID. Um, we go back to each member to pick up the proceeds. You know, they're going to give us an envelope with checks or cash and ticket stubs in it. And uh, I don't, I don't feel comfortable asking the people that are collecting it at that point to reconcile each one of those pickups because that's putting the burden on them. That that I don't, I don't think is fair. Now, if we get an envelope back and it, and it doesn't jive, we have to go back to the people we got the envelope from and say, you know, we have an issue. You, you sold these many tickets. We're supposed to have this, this much revenue. Right. But, uh, you know. I, I don't care, you know, however you want to do that is concerned. It's fine, but I just want somebody other than me counting the money, I want two people. That, to count. That's my point. When we when it when it comes back, I like to be together, you and I together, yeah. and we can re reconcile it as it comes through as we count. Yes, Bill. Uh, yeah, Randy. Since I'm not going to be here uh, past the first of next month, I've got a few tickets sold now, and I'm probably going to be selling some more, even though I'm not here. I'm going to need to figure out some way to handle that. I had planned on uh, just dropping it off with Paul before I leave and then if I sell any more because my kids are going to try to sell some for me and then I'll just have them the checks or the money sent in or I may just buy the rest of them myself and get my kids to reimburse me but in other words some you know I'm going to have to do mine a little different because I'm really not going to be here for the final collection time so I hope that won't be too big a problem um as long as we, as long as we get it uh to either me or Paul before the drawing. Oh, I will. I'll get it to Paul. No problem. You know, I think if it were me, Randy, I wouldn't be comfortable with, uh, you know, having a pile of checks and possibly cash sitting in my house that started getting up to the, 
you know, $5,000 range or something like that. Um, I, I'd rather what I'd, I'd rather go ahead and deposit some of it. Oh, that's fine. That's yeah. fine. If, if, if money came back to you in advance of that, of the end of May, I have no problem with you just depositing it, you know, keeping track of it and depositing it as you receive it. Right. Uh, I have the same concern about each individual. I mean, people are going to have, uh, Two or three hundred bucks, but in, in the case of some other people, there'll be a lot more because some folks are selling a lot more tickets. But once once that money comes back to the club, then I think it should be deposited as we re accounted for and deposited as we receive it. Okay. Okay. The the issue again is uh, is getting it to you or to me because of the the COVID situation, which is why I tried to arrange it so we go back and do a collection. You know, as opposed to saying everybody show up at Paul's house and you know drive you nuts doing that. Does that anyone have a, a an issue with it operating this way? Yeah, I, 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 I came in late, um, uh, but what are you saying that as you get the money, we're going to give it to Paul, or how's that work? You know what. What I was saying was their plan was at the end of May that you and the other two fellows that distributed tickets are going to go back and collect the proceeds from the people you distributed to. And then those proceeds will go to Paul. Oh, we'll bring them to Paul. Yeah. Who, who, who counts it other than me? Pardon me? Who counts it other than me? I would hope that you and I would be together to do the counting, but you're talking about the day the day it's handed to you, right? All right, um, let's let's try this. We will arrange in advance. We'll arrange in advance the date that the three collectors bring the proceeds back to Paul. Paul and I will be together, and we'll and we'll receive them and do the accounting, unless someone has a, a smoother idea how to go about doing this. You're talking about multiple dates, though. We could do it on multiple dates. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, Stan, is this? You look, you look like, and I probably have confused you. What's the issue? No, no. Uh, my only issue is um, um, distributing my distributing the chick the tickets themselves and now have to go back and pick the money up i don't i don't mind doing that let's put it that way it's just a it's very difficult right now to get in touch with the beat with our members that's yeah. the only problem I, I don't mind i don't mind picking the money i don't mind holding the money whatever but right. uh, have you been able to get a hold of everybody because you have the most difficult list oh wow um I have about half the list done, but I have to make a few runs and I'm going to drop off. Like, yeah, I, I, it's not going to be that much of a problem, but it's going to be a little bit of a problem. Just getting in touch with them. People just don't answer me back, you know? I know. Um, <laughs> well, we, we'll, we'll fix it. I mean, you know, it's just a little, but then picking up the money now, <laughs> I can't even give them the tickets. Now I have to get, get the money from them. It's going to be, uh, I don't know. we'll see. The difficult takes time. The impossible takes just a little bit longer. That's there, you there you go. That's the spirit, Stan. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, Randy, member, we're, uh, we're kind of member, uh, out of time on this subject. But can I ask you one quick question, Bill? Yeah, go ahead, uh, Reggie. So each member gets the money back to the person who distributed the tickets to him or her? Right. Okay. You can do good. it that way, yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, I don't know that it ought to be the distributor's responsibility to get all the money from all the people they got gave tickets to. That's I would like, agree because I'd be happy to just take mine to whomever. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Look, uh, June, June, we've we've got time now. June is going to be crunch time, and we'll, let's see where we stand at the end of May, and if we have to do something extraordinary to get the money back and the ticket stubs back. Um, I'm more concerned about the ticket stubs. The money catches up. And Paul, I think you're over, you've been doing this for, God, eight 
years or so. Yeah. Um, and you have never stole a dime. So I'm not worried about <laughs> the money. <laughs> but but I, I want to I want to make sure that <laughs> we have a a fair and uh, system uh, for our supporters because all we have here is our reputation and the integrity of the programs we run. And if that's ever questioned, then we're in trouble. But let's make sure we get those stubs back. And if if each member has to walk them back. I, I, you know, I don't want to put it all on Randy or on Stanley or Al or, or Mike. We'll work as a team. Um, you know, three or four people, this should not be on three or four people. And the three or four are Randy, Paul, Stan, Mike, and Al. Everybody pitches in. So let's move on from that. Wait a minute. Before we, before we do, uh, then let's tell the membership uh, at the meeting and also in the newsletter, which I'm pretty sure only half of the members bother opening when they get the email, but that's another issue entirely, uh, that when they've sold their tickets, they want to get the proceeds back to Randy Diamond or Paul Strong. We'll, we'll, we'll be there to accept them. Anyone that is unable to get their proceeds back by the end of May will come around and collect them. There Wait a minute, know. that's confusing. Before yeah, you said right. get it back, get it back to the people who distributed the tickets. Now you're saying get it back to you and Paul directly. Well, we haven't told them to get it back to anyone. What we what I hope we've told them and what I've tried to tell them over and again is that it would be collected from them. All right. Now we're 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 sort of changing that and saying if you if you've got the money and you don't want to hold the money, you can bring it back. Or if I, in the case of people that live right down the street, you know, it makes sense they can drop it off. But we have to right. say something that's that's clear and, and not confusing, which is All what right. he's trying to do with the idea of collecting it at the end. I understand that causes some some issues in terms of people's, you know, balancing their checkbooks and, and a check they wrote six weeks ago hasn't cleared. But that is what it is. So if we want All to right. open that door and and invite people to return the proceeds when they're ready to it, that, that's fine. All right, do me a favor, send me an email exactly how you want it worded and, and I'll copy and paste it into the newsletter. All right, and Paul, I'll, I'll, I'll coordinate that email with you before I send it off to Chuck so we're on the same page. Okay. But the, the fundamental thing is each member is responsible for getting their stubs and their money back to Randy or Paul. Now, if, if Stan or Mike or Al can help out, or if, if somebody is, uh, you know, can't get out, they might want to say, Stan, can you come by? That's a nice backup. But, and the message I'd like you to make, or I'll make it at the meeting today, Stan, uh, Randy, is each member is responsible for their 20 tickets. All sure. right. Now, uh, Chuck, you wanted to uh, talk about the countdown. Yeah, I, I have one question and then one uh, request. For Bill, you, Bill Murphy and Paul, I think I've had this whole thing about goals wrong. Um, I was sent a message and when I went to pets, they said, you need to set your goals up by April, May 1, I think it was. I think I've had it wrong. Are these templated goals? Because I noticed they're the same exactly the last five years. Um, are they already there and all I need to do is plug in numbers, what our goals are, or do I start with nothing and say, here's what our goals are going to be? I'm not clear on that. Okay, um, Chuck, uh, wh why don't I work with you offline on that? The short answer is we gradually increase our goals year to year. Uh, those goals being what we contribute to, for example, Polio Plus, uh, 
our membership objectives and that those sorts of things. And we, you select how much you, you want to, you know, grow, grow the club year to year. Bill, you want to say something? Yeah, uh, Chuck, I, I just may not be what you asked, but the actual goals themselves, the structure of them and the goal that you have to put a number with, those are all set for you. There's four, That's five, like six, it. or whatever. That all you have like to do is those. Yeah, any other personal goals you have, we could either put it in, in in a strategic plan, which we still, you know, we need to update, or your own personal goals for the year that you can can tell the club and, and work towards yourself. But the goals that have to be in in regards to the grant are the are the several goals that fall under foundation, the foundation, the general fund, Polar Oil Plus, that type of thing. But uh, all you really have to do is put numbers in. And once all those right. numbers are in, uh, once you have your budget discussion and reconciliation with Paul and Bill, you can always change those numbers. You can move them up. You can move them down. You just have to have something in there uh, by May 1st in order to be grant eligible. All right. What I will do, that that's exactly what I was looking for. I will put some numbers together for those goals, and I'll present it to Bill Murphy, Bill Payne, and Paul, and then we can negotiate them up or down or agree that the numbers are okay, and then I'll get them entered. Um, this this is why I always say Bill Murphy is the smartest guy in the room. <laughs> no. Paul is the smartest guy. <laughs> or maybe Randy or, or anybody but me. Yeah. Hey, Bill, thanks for stepping in and, and making it clear. Oops. Okay. Um, the, the next thing is our request. Bill, Bill Payne, is it possible that you can talk to um, Medi and see if we can do a turnover of the newsletter by May 1? because I'm getting more and more busy with, with uh, what's coming up. I've got a lot to read from what I was given from uh, Debbie Wall, a 135 page document um, that was on the thumb drive that was sent out. I'm getting more and more involved. I'm having less and less time to devote to the newsletter. Is it possible to talk to her and see if we can transition that over to her on May 1? Absolutely. Uh, whether she does it or not, I don't care. Uh, right. the, the important thing is that you're ready and comfortable come July 1. If we go a couple of weeks without the newsletter, it won't be the end of the world. The only re uh, reservation I have is I know uh, Medi is traveling right now. Oh, she's, okay. in, she's in California right now, but I'm sure if she can, she would step right up, uh, Chuck, uh, and let you, you know, get a running start on July 1. Okay. You're the president right now. Do you want to contact her? Do you want me to contact her and copy you in with that request? How do you want to handle that? Let's, let's talk. Maybe we have a three-way conversation. All right. Okay. That's all I had. Okay. Great. Um, let's see what else we're, we're approaching noon. So let's, let's just go around the room and see if there's anything anybody has, um, uh, as we merge into our, our club meeting, Randy, you have something. Yeah. Uh, I would suggest that we not distribute raffle tickets to Kelvin Jones, given his circumstances. The way. Do we not distribute raffle tickets to Kelvin Jones? Um, no, I wouldn't give him a Does break. anyone know that his condition is? Yeah, he, he's preaching again. Okay. Yeah, I, uh, the thing is, I always give the tickets out. And if somebody has a problem, let them push back. Um, uh, we won't decide that they can't do something. Because if we make an excuse for one person, I think it's unfair not to make an excuse for another because we all have issues. Um, and thank God Calvin is um, coming along. And I, I and you know he's got the biggest audience in the world. He's got his church. That's a that's a one Sunday ten minute deal. So. Uh, Anybody else? Yeah, Bill, I have one quick thing. Uh, 
I talked to Kate, <coughs> Katie up at uh, Kip to Peak, and even though it'll be a little less formal than normal, uh, they do want to still do student of the year. Uh, and so she's supposed to get all that information together uh, along with the winner and the two runner ups like we've always done so we can get the plaque. Uh, and I, I can handle that as, even though I'm not going to be here as far as email and, and the names and things. But uh, between you and Paul, do you think we can can uh, get the, uh, the visa card awards and, and the things that we have to and get them up to the school, the plaque for the winner? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, you know, Bill, you're only be, going to be a telephone call away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really. So, I mean, and I'm so uh, you know, we'll be your arms and uh, legs uh, while you're gone, but just don't turn your brain off. <laughs> Some people say I did that several years ago, but you know, <laughs> that's all I have. Uh, our uh, potential. Oh, Tammy. T turn yourself on, Tammy. Uh, Tammy, we're wrapping up our our board meeting here. We're about to start our regular meeting in a few minutes, but I want everybody that's on right now to know who you are. Okay. Tammy Hopkins is a guest today, um, and we'll learn more about her, but I look at her as a future Rotarian for Cape Charles. Uh, so everybody be nice. <laughs> so uh, anything else in, uh, relative to the board meeting? And um, Okay, well then we'll adjourn the board meeting. And what I'm going to do now, I think, is stop the recording. And 